An 11th grade English teacher, Shirley Ann Williams, had no idea that telling a petite young girl, Deborah Broughton, you are a four-foot giant, would unleash giant-sized dreams, a new generation of college graduates, and raise the earning potential of a community in Arkansas and around the country. When I arrived in Memphis, I was greeted with what appeared to be a lot of hopelessness in the eyes of adults and children. I viewed a lot of blight and poverty and what appeared to be a lack of dreams. The dream for Whitney contains the DNA and evidence that poverty is the sibling to the achievement gap in America, and education is key to eliminating poverty. This is a low socioeconomic community, so the schools in this community sometimes miss what other schools do not have. It offered a big challenge to help the children in this area be able to function and be successful just as other children are in the Memphis area. So when we got here, it literally looked like someone had said there's a fire and everyone ran out of the building and left everything where it stood. Coffee, food, you know, just things left just the way they were. Whitney Achievement Elementary School came about because we were uh, performing in the low percentile, which made us a failing school. After we became a failing school, the Achievement School District took over the school. So the ASD came in and the parents, who some of which went to this school as children themselves, you know, Whitney Elementary has been in the community for a long time. Here comes all these new people. When I got here, I knew that it was destined that I be here, that God had orchestrated my purpose and the, uh, a season where I had to give back in, in this region. and so. Uh, I began to uh, craft what I believed was the ushering of a vision uh, that had been given to me for the work that I was to do. All students can achieve at high levels if they are given equity and access to high quality teachers, a rigorous curriculum, and nurtured in a safe, disciplined, and supportive environment. My role here at Whitney as the assistant principal entails many facets of the school day. Um, I think our mindset is whatever is best for kids. So my role can vary from instruction to meetings with parents, to meetings with teachers, to supporting teachers, to teaching myself. I try to, you know, really find out any barriers to the students not meeting their academic needs to see what we can do to help them to meet those. Whether that be group counseling, individual counseling, taking children to the doctor, um, maybe they need a ride to school, a ride home. Um, I try to help parents with um, getting jobs if they need that. Just whatever we can do to be of service and support to parents and children, that's my job. How can I impact our students in our community without being in the classroom. I know that all the whole school works together as a great team. What can I do to be a different player on the team? So my experience in working in the main office in the urban community has been amazing. My position here at Whitney is a kindergarten teacher. This is my second year um, teaching at Whitney, which is also the second year of Whitney being an ASD school. So my position here at Whitney as a first grade teacher is to um, command a class of 20 to 25 first grade scholars, um, help them in um, closing that achievement gap, that opportunity gap um, that exists here in Fraser, just making sure that they have access to the best education that they can get. I also serve as the um, first grade uh, grade chair. So with that, there's a little bit more responsibility and leading my team, ensuring that we're all on the same page. When you educate a child, you build a family. 
When you build a family, you transform a community. When you transform a community, you can change the world. College readiness is a critical part of the culture and the language of the school prepares them for college. Classrooms are named after colleges. Students are called scholars and Fridays are college community circle time. Students receive academic, social, and behavioral instruction while engaging in fun chants, songs, and celebrations taught from the framework of college readiness. How you doing? You coming for mom? Hey, how you doing this morning? Oh, oh, no, it's not your birthday. Happy birthday. We got another scholar who's got birthday. I knew that nothing could happen unless it began in the minds of people. And so, and when I saw the work that needed to happen in education and the hopelessness that I saw and that I greeted every day, I began to uh, say, how am I going to be a part of this work and be impactful in this work? And one day I was uh, brainstorming what that was and the words came to me, unearth, to unearth their dreams. I love our dream values. Um, each of our values stands for a different thing. So D is disciplined and determined. Uh, R is respectful and responsible. E is excellence and engaged. A is academic achievement. And then M is make a difference in our community. Every student has the ability to be able to succeed. But a lot of time, the only thing that they have is just a dream. What we do here at Whitney Elementary, we're able to make those dreams come true. That's why we call ourselves dream makers. Students like striving towards an end goal for something. You formulating it in your mind and then you're reaching for an end goal. Kids who maybe have never have never really dreamed about the possibility for their life and never dreamed about what it means to to graduate from college and to be successful. Um, that's really, in my opinion, what dream is about. It's about instilling hope. A rigorous academic culture looks like a campus with a clear college track for all students. Core values that align the think acts to the college goal and provides a common language for all stakeholders. The culture of Whitney uh, specifically um, was outlined very strategically and very detailed. The culture at the school um, here at Whitney is always at the forefront. The students always know the expectations. Um, they are always, you know, appreciative of what the teachers and the administration try to do to keep them on task. The children are more under control, they're calmer, Passing from class to class, they're not as rowdy. Um, I see parents bringing their children to school more than just letting their children walk to school by themselves. Ms. Broughton is an extremely positive person, always really upbeat, like high energy. So being around her, she always really like picks you up. She has a way of like kind of picking the staff up all together and reminding us why we're here and how important the work that we're doing is. The culture here at Whitney is one that is very familial in the sense that um, we are working with our families to work for a common goal for our students. We've gotten our students on board. They now believe they meet our expectations. They're still children, but they meet our expectations. Last year we actually walked to, around the neighborhood mm -hmm. and we met some of the parents and even some of the students and there was one thing that Ms. Broughton was clean on. Like she wanted you to be aware of who you're working with. Like she didn't think you should just come into the school mm -hmm. and not know the surroundings because you know this is a difficult environment if yes. you're not accustomed to it and some people are not. And so we went around, knocked on doors, you know, shook hands, kissed babies like politicians, met everybody and mm -hmm. that was one thing that she stood firm on. It's all about the leadership and if the leadership is not, you know, together and they're not on the same playing field and they don't support you, then you feel like you're in it by yourself. But here, I honestly feel like they actually care. 
I see them going in the classroom teaching. I, they make sure we have coaches that are helping us, just making sure that we get what we need to get so that the children can get what they need to get. And I see that they feel like the children, that's what it's all about. And they make sure that every element that goes into our school every single day is about what's going to get them to where they need to go. At last but not least, a staff that has the passion and belief that every child can and will achieve at high levels, regardless of race. Whitney Achievement Elementary School understands that teachers are the most important school-based variable in student success. Therefore, we are committed to ensuring that every child has access to an excellent teacher by employing and developing individuals who possess the will and skill to teach like a champion. As a bivocational pastor, I signed on to become a substitute teacher. And so I would substitute during the day and then I would work uh, at the church late in the evenings and late into the night and the weekends. And as I went to be a substitute teacher, as most teachers are, I was drawn into a full-time role. When I was in college, there were a lot of people saying they didn't want to work in urban education. They wanted, you know, it to be easy and they wanted to be <laughs> well-mannered and you know the words that they use. So they wanted to be an easy thing for them. And I saw, well, that's not where I'm needed. So I wanted to go where I'm needed. Before I started working at Whitney, um, I've never worked in the field of education. So it was just like an eye opener. And the fact that we just know that the children, they need us. This community needs us. So that's what keeps me getting up coming to work every day. Um, it's challenging at times, um, stressful at times, but this is the work. This is what you embrace in urban education. It is going to be challenging, but there is nothing more rewarding. I myself um, see myself in these students every single day when I come. I saw so many challenges that I had as a um, urban student um, inside a low income area to where it was a lot of things that I wasn't privy to to where I wanted to be able to make sure that they get the things that I didn't get so I want to make sure that I'm able to pour and give them a hundred percent of my life day in and day out and it keeps me coming back nonstop. Teaching is a hard career. I keep coming to Whitney because no matter how hard it is, no matter how long my days, no matter how much parent participation I have or lack thereof, no matter the situation, it's really about the children. It's really about making a difference um, in the lives, even if it's one child. Even if I have one child that can say that, um, Miss Hull really loved her. And if I have one child that say, um, I learned how to read. And if I have one child that, or one parent that can say, Miss Hull loved my child, then that's, that's really, that's what I do it for. The thing that keeps me going the most is that I know that I'm purposed for work. And I'm purposed and I'm gifted with some talents that can help make a difference and a change. I may not be able to change the world, but I can change one child at a time. And so yes, it is very, very hard work, but it is very, very, very rewarding when we see that we have been able to impact the life of one child, impact the life of a family, because this is my educational philosophy, that when you educate a child, you build a family. And when you build a family, you create strong communities. And when you create strong communities, you can change the world.